there and welcome back to my channel as you can probably see by the title today's video is a full face of Primark makeup I have everything from a palette to some bronzers to some concealer to blush to contour to even some mascara so if you would like to find out what's good at Primark and what is not then just keep on watching <music> I could go through all of the things that I bought, but I spent 57.13 Primark all on makeup. I'm just going to zoom you in and we're gonna get started. I'm gonna tell you all the prices as I use them. The one and only thing, hopefully in this video, that is not from Primark, is my eyeshadow primer. If I use anything else other than my standard eyeshadow primer, I won't know whether this goes patchy because of the primer or because the palette's not great. If you've been here for a while, you know that I like to use the Collection Last Imperfection Concealer as my eyeshadow base. And the first thing that I'm going to use from Primark is the PS Eyeshadow Palette. It was £5. I got the Cherry One. Oh, they even have names. And it looks like this inside. If I'm not mistaken, there was a cherry one, a peach one, and a honey one. It has a rubbery packaging, which is <laughs> kind of cute. And I really like the colours inside. The first two, however, these two right here, seem very, very similar. But other than that, it seems fine. So let's just try it out. I'm taking a fluffy brush. Actually, there is. I'm going to try it and use that mirror inside, but it's actually quite small. I'm going to pick up a shade called Cherry right in the middle on the top row. It doesn't have that much fallout, but I didn't pick up a lot, so I'm going, going, going. It is somewhat hardly pressed, I feel like. And, ooh, I'm going to put this on the outer corner of my eye okay yes bear in mind I dipped in about like six times seems like it's very pigmented but there's a lot on my brush I took a lot so I'm going to put this uh, brush to the side get a new one and blend the edges with that blends out nicely I want to take Scarlet which is the bottom corner it's uh, it looks orange and I'm going to blend the edges with scarlet it's not as vibrant as the cherry shade so I'm dipping in again the eyeshadows blended together really nicely hmm? I'm excited I don't know why, because I don't know what I'm going to do. Should have probably gone with a more wearable look, but you know me. I just, I don't do wearable looks. It blended really nice. They combined really nice. They blended out really nice. No complaints whatsoever. I'm really intrigued by the shade Crimson. Eh. It's just like a, a satin kind of red. I'm going to take a little bit more of Scarlet and I'm bringing it here. Ooh, way too high. Way too high. In my inner corner in the crease. I'm just using that previous brush that had the red in it. Just making sure it is nicely blended. I want to intensify the outer corner so I'm going to take the brush that I had the red on and I'm taking berry which seems to be like a brown oh it's a very very dark red I feel like I'm just going to deepen that mobile lid that outer corner there that is a very very nice shade I am losing a little bit of scarlet in this. It's very, I know it's a, a red palette, obviously, but I wanted a little bit of like this orange hue, like a, an orange halo around the red. But as I'm blending, that red is going everywhere. 
I'm just building the berry shade, that somewhat dark reddish brown. I think I'm just going to leave it there because if I blend any more, it's just going to look like one colour. However, as you can see, I have left some room. So let's try all the shimmers. Those three look almost identical. You wouldn't be able to see any difference between those three on my lid. That's a very disappointing. I like the gold the most anyway. That's a very pretty gold. I am going to take a flat brush and pick up some of that shimmer. It goes on there. It doesn't go on as smoothly and evenly with a brush as with a finger. Obviously the warmth kind of makes it a little bit better, but it's fine. I'm of course going to blend that outer corner with the berry shade first. I need to clean up my under eye because it's an absolute mess. That looks cute. I think I have an eyeliner. Since I do have an eyeliner, I'm already going to do a wing so I can get into this. Skizzers, where are you? Skizzers. Should have opened these before I started filming. I'm going to use the PSI Conic eyeliner steady tip for easy application water resistant smudge proof and long lasting okay it does have a felt tip applicator okay so far not bad the rim where the tip is is kind of getting in the way of me being able to see where i'm going this was £1.50 and I managed to get it quite nice. If I managed to do the other eye as well, I'll be happy because it seems to be a, getting a little dry. I'm going to do my other eye off camera and I'll be right back to carry this on. I'm going to share my overall thoughts on each item at the very end. Hopefully this video isn't going to be very long. Anyway, it is time to move on to the base. I'm excited for this because you know me, I love foundations and I have three to choose from. This one is going to the side because apparently it is meant to be an Estee Lauder dupe so the foundation wear test is going to be coming soon on that. So between these two, the perfect finish foundation, medium to full coverage, natural finish, moisturizing vitamin E or the matte foundation natural medium coverage matte finish you know what I'm going to try the matte foundation because I'm not a big fan of matte foundations it was three pounds and the shade that I got was ivory number two I got ivory in every single one of them if it's the wrong shade at least it's consistent it's very thick doesn't smell the best but i don't think it's because of fragrance so i prefer foundations to not smell nice rather than smell nice too much by the way i did moisturize prior to this so the shade isn't bad maybe i could go with a slightly darker one this is the coverage i'm only stretching my face so much because i want you to see this so clearly it's more of like a light <laughs> coverage for me. Let's try a brush. Mm -mm. No, I don't like the way it sits on the skin when it's with a brush. I like the texture of this foundation. Let's use a bit more and see if it builds. Hmm. Well, it builds really nicely. So that almost gave me like almost a high coverage I'm happy with that and it's not like so far at least it's not like a dry down matte like uncomfortable kind of matte I like this a lot for three pounds this looks great as you know I am a huge fan of cream contouring and I decided to buy 
P.S. My Perfect Colour Concealer Stick in Rich Espresso to try and contour with that. This was 90p. It looks very warm. Oh, and she dark. Oh, should I go straight in? Let's try this first. Will this work? Oh, I forgot I've got foundation in this brush still. Wow. Look at that. That looks good. And it didn't disrupt my foundation, which is nice. That looks amazing. It's nice and creamy. So it blends in really well. Because the coverage isn't that great. It's like foolproof, really, for a contour. Wow. Well, that so far is a hit. Did I buy a under eye concealer? That is the question. Looks like I may have forgotten to buy a under eye concealer. So, sorry about that. Let's just use my Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer. Sorry about that. I must have just got excited about the darker shade of the concealer to forget to pick up a under eye concealer. So far, if someone told me I was wearing like Primark makeup, I wouldn't believe them because it looks really, really good. I like it. As I was searching for my under eye concealer, I realized that I bought another foundation. This is the My Perfect Color Foundation Pressed Powder. So I think today I'm just going to get a brush, like a fluffy one, and maybe powder with this. So I won't be able to give you a review of this as an actual foundation, but as a powder. Under the eyes, it kind of looks like concrete. Yeah, it's definitely not your under eye setting powder because it looks quite heavy. But overall, for the face, not bad. And that foundation is two pounds. You probably thought I was done with complexion. Well, I'm not. I bought two bronzers because one seemed to be a lot more cool toned than the other. These are the PS Bronze Glow Matte Bronzing Powders. One is in Sunset and one is in Suspect. I know there was a Sunrise as well. Can't remember why I didn't get that one. So I'm going to start with Suspect, the bronzer, the warmer shade because I already kind of have a contour on. I don't want to look too deadly. I'm just going to grab the same brush I was using earlier. Whoa. And, whoa. Okay. I'm impressed, you guys. I can't remember the last time I used Primark makeup, but it does feel like they have improved on their formula. And because I want to try this sunset one, I'm just going to contour my nose with it. Oh, uh, well, that was a mistake. Huge mistake. I ruined it. I don't like the undertone of that one. It looks green. So I don't know. The sunset, a pass. Suspect, pretty good. Quite warm, but I like warm bronzers. Two more things. I usually use my eyeshadow, but this time I got a blush. This one is PS Blush High Pigment Blusher in Secrecy. It looks like this. It's like a, oh, it's got shimmer in it. It's not that shimmery, okay. I was worried there. Let's see if it even shows up on my skin. I'm not a fan of shimmery blushes, but that just gives you like a slight glow, which I don't mind. That's not bad. If you're looking for a blusher, not bad. The one thing that I was very disappointed by was the amount of highlighters at my local Primark because there was only one and it doesn't even look that impressive inside. Um, it's just a diamond shaped highlighter. I like this shade, I don't like these and the ones in the middle so I'm going to avoid that. This is the PS Gold Luster Highlighter Powder and it was £3. For £3 to get like a flimsy packaging and a highlighter that's a bit like meh. 
I'm disappointed by that, you know? This whole palette, just sturdy, quite heavy, good packaging palette is five pounds and that's three, you know? But let's try it. Maybe it will blow my mind. I highly doubt it. Reflection is lovely. However, it is giving me a slight cast. My stash is getting smaller and smaller. There was no brow products whatsoever. So I'm just going to use my standard products. Sorry about that guys, but I just simply couldn't find anything. Okay, time to finish off the eyes. I'm picking up the palette and I want this makeup look to be somewhat cohesive. So I'm going to pick up Sherry. I'm going to put this all over my lower lash line I think actually you know what no I'm taking it two thirds of the way in and now I'm going to take Scarlet the somewhat orange and put that on the remaining one third it is time for some mascara I have the false lash queen dramatic volume fullness length I mean the picture looks very promising and the packaging looks very much like my favorite l'oreal lash paradise oh yeah it's definitely a lash paradise dupe very similar let's see if it gives me dramatic volume fullness length i don't see dramatic fullness length do you <laughs> I mean the mascara was three pounds so obviously it is the fraction of the price of even the lash paradise from l'oreal before i stick my lashes on i'm just going to take a little bit of that highlighter and put that on my inner corners i have two pair of lashes today i have the 3d angel intense lash and the 3d vixen intense lash I think I'm going to go for Vixen. It looks a little bit more dramatic. They seem all right, actually. They're not as plasticky as I expected them to be. Oh, they are very, very straight. Ooh, hopefully they're not gonna just ping off my eye. Okay, and I also have an option for some lips. I have the matte lipstick. It just says matte. Oh yeah, that could be that could be the one. But I also have the Pierce Nude Edit Lip Contour. Let's swatch the pencil. Quite warm, corally kind of shade. The lipstick number one matches it pretty well, and the nude one would be somewhat a highlight. I love the colour of the lighter one. Since I'm probably going to use the bullet lipstick, I shall try the lip liner. Okay, I'm going to try the darker lipstick because it matches the lip liner. I like that colour actually. Hmm. Seems to be drying down but it's not going to be transfer resistant I feel like. Okie dokie, let's try the bullet lipstick. The shade of it is called Naked. Oh, and it smells so good. Oh man, I love it. I am having to go in and like work it into my lips. I mean, if you've been here for a while, you know I love concealer lips. I love it. I like that. I like that a lot. And it smells so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. okay you guys so here it is this is the final full face of primark makeup look i actually quite like it i mean it's um it's not really me i don't wear reds that often but let's give you a rundown of the products when it comes to the palette i love the packaging i love the idea behind it however I wished there was more difference between the shades because they look very very similar all of them on the eyes there's not that much difference I mean I have that uh, cherry shade 
on majority of my eye the berry shade isn't dark enough and it doesn't actually build that well the orange here looks almost the same as the cherry shade and they just kind of blend together into like this one little blob the shimmers the three shimmers other than the gold look pretty much identical i bet you if you put them on the eye one next to another you wouldn't be able to tell the difference i know it's five pounds and i managed to achieve something that looks quite nice but i don't think i would recommend this again purely because your eyeshadow looks will look very similar over and over again i see the theme again i see the theme and if you like the theme um go ahead and buy this it's not a bad eyeshadow palette i just feel like the um, idea i thought red 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 and that's what we have red 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 um but it's it's very flat the next item I used was the liquid eyeliner. I managed to achieve pretty nice wings with it. Again, I think the lip of it is quite thick and it gets in the way of you being able to see where you're drawing. It is quite dry formula. It looks very smooth. It managed to go on top of my eyeshadow. It didn't skip or anything, but I reckon this is going to dry out pretty quickly. However, it is £1.50. So if you're in an emergency, then that's absolutely fine. I like how black it is. I like how matte it is. For £1.50, not bad at all. I then used the foundation, which I actually really, really like. I do wish it had just a little bit more coverage. However, it does say natural medium coverage and that's what it is. It's a medium coverage. It feels really nice on the skin. I've worn it for about half an hour now and it feels comfortable. If you want me to do a wear test on it, let me know down in the comments below. I quite like it, recommend it. If you're looking for a matte foundation that's medium coverage, this one should be fine. The concealer as my contour was so good. I love this little thing. I'm probably going to introduce it to my everyday makeup look. It was very, very sheer, which sometimes can be a good thing. And for 90p to get that much contour, it's actually pretty good. The bronzers, I have the Suspect and the Sunset. Sunset is a pass for me. Suspect was really, really nice. Do expect quite a warm toned bronzer. I mean, it's a bronzer, it's going to warm you up. Um, I like it, it's very pigmented, so you need a light hand. It blended nicely, it looks pretty good. Highly recommend for one pound. It is very good. The blusher. I mean, what what can I say? It looks fine. It gave me a nice glow in the center of my face, which, to be fair, I don't need. But it is a nice color. It's not as vibrant as I would like it to be. But again, if you're only starting out with blusher, if it's your first time buying blusher, this one's actually pretty good. The biggest disappointment and definitely a pass is the highlighter, the gold luster highlighter powder for £3. Mascara, I mean, it's £3. I personally would prefer to invest in a better mascara. This just doesn't do it enough for me, even for £3. The lashes, I feel like you can get a better lash from like depop the only issue i have with them is they are very straight and obviously the inner corners kind of fling up which you do not want because your um eyes will start watering it might irritate your eye um they're not very curved either so they're not like nicely in an upward position they're quite straight and finally the lips the nude edit lip contour kit um is actually quite nice i like both of the shades the lip liner is nice and creamy they are somewhat sheer you do have to build them a little bit i definitely do prefer the bullet matte lipstick it is a perfect shade of nude <laughs> 
for me i love having almost concealed lips um if you don't then go with the kit it was £3.50 if I'm not mistaken, which is absolutely fine. You get two lipsticks and a lip liner, which is fine. This was a pound or pound fifty. Yeah, one pound fifty. And I like it a lot and it smells so good. I don't usually like fragrance in products except lip products. As always, I hope you found this video useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. You are the best and I hope to see you next time.